Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be predicting the May payments for all the yield max ETFs. Ybit also just came out this month, but it will not be paying a dividend. And next week we got Crash coming out, which is basically a uh, it's basically like Tesla, but uh instead when Tesla goes down, Crash will go up and they sell puts instead of calls. So it looks like it was overall a red month. For all the yield max ETFs. However, some of these companies reported really good earnings this month. So I'm going to factor that in into my estimates. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. On this video, I'm going to try and aim for 250. If we can get there, that'll be awesome because these videos take some time. But, you know, I love making them. These are my favorite ones to make because it's exciting, you know, where you we're getting paid this week, or no, we're getting declared on Friday, and then getting paid next week. Yep, so here it is. We get declared May 3rd, and then we get paid on May 8th. And starting in uh, June, actually, is pretty interesting. Uh, they We get paid basically a day quicker because uh, some SE, SEC changes are being made, and for Alti and YMAX, it's a little bit later, but uh, for those ones, we get paid on May 17th and declared on May 14th. All right, so let's get right into it here. Take YMAX and YMAG estimates as a little, little grain of salt here. Actually take all of these, but especially these ones with a grain of salt because these ones don't get declared until another two weeks, and there's dividend dilution on this, so it we definitely won't be getting paid 53%. But think of it as this is the average of my estimates here. So we got 53% for YMAX, assuming no dividend dilution, or 89 cents payment. So this is the first month, actually, where Misty is included in this. And yeah, it definitely raised the yield. And I think we're going to see a, a much higher yield for YMAX this month, which is awesome. Even though Misty has been going down quite a bit this month, and we will see that later. Next up, YMAG. They're at nineteen sixty. I got my estimate at forty four percent or seventy three cents. So since Misty got added to this, we're definitely going to see a divergence in the payments starting to happen. But you know, forty four percent, really good. Uh, they're only down 2% this month as compared to YMAX being down 3%. Also, I want to remind everybody, these are just estimates. I don't work for YieldMax at all. It's just fun to, to pr predict these, you know. And it might even be a little bit too early here, but usually I like to put my predictions out on the weekend before declaration date, which is weird. They're doing it on uh, Friday, I think, this month. So first up, we got Apple, and they got their earnings this week, so it could boost the dividend for sure. Uh, they're at sixteen fifty-five. My estimate is twenty-five percent or thirty-five cents. Usually, Apple's Apple's dividend ranges from I've seen it as low as like thirteen percent, all the way up to thirty-six percent. Um, I'm not expecting a big pop from their earnings, so I just took the yield from call premium sold for this month and we got 25 percent or 35 cents and that seems pretty realistic there um the tracking this month seemed very close here um apple is only down about 0.5 percent same as apple so that's good there next up is phoebe they had i thought they had good earnings they just increased their spending outlook for the the year and that caused a big overreaction drop, in my opinion. I don't think they're going to be yielding as high as previous months because of that, because the NAV is now below 20. I think it'll still be a good yield, though, 47% or $0.76, cents, just not that $1.17 that we're used to. However, I wouldn't be surprised if they still paid that $1.17 and tried to keep it consistent. So they're down 11% this month, and Phoebe is somehow underperforming by 1%, and that is because, if you guys watch my weekly tracking videos, they put the calls out a little bit too close, in my opinion. 
for this upcoming week. So we'll keep an eye on Phoebe. Their volatility is still really good, especially compared to the other Meg 7 stocks besides, you know, Tesla and NVIDIA. So, you know, I, I'm still keeping this one. If we get 47%, I'll be happy. Next up is Amzi, and they also have their earnings coming up this week. I'm expecting it to be really good. Uh, that's why I'm boosting their dividend up a little bit here. They collected a lot of premium on those calls sold this week. Hopefully, they're not too close. Um, I could definitely see Amzi or Amazon reaching 200 this week, but my estimate is 42% or $0.81 cents per share, so definitely higher than previous months here. They are down only 0.25% this month, which is impressive considering how bad the market has been in April. And AMZ is slightly outperforming Amazon. So we'd love to see that. That is awesome. Next up is Dizzo. They're at 2040. They're still above 20, which is great. My estimate is 34% or 58 cents per share. Now, Dizzo is actually outperforming you know pretty nicely here it's only like one percent but that's 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 great to see i love to see when these yield max etfs outperform usually it's when they go down though so they are still down six percent but that outperformance that little outperformance is definitely nice to see and 58 cents per share won't hurt the nav really at all MSFO, they're at 21.44. My estimate is 29%, 29.66, or 53 cents per share. They are also down 3% this month. Microsoft or MSFO is outperforming by 1%. So they kind of had like an earnings drop, but we got lots of premium on that call. And then they spiked once they were actually released the earnings. So it kind of worked out good. Obviously, we'd like to see them up this month, but with the way the market has been going, uh, being only down 3% is pretty good, in my opinion. I also really quickly just want to show what the indexes were at this month. They were all down about 3%. So whenever you see a stock down 2%, they're outperforming the indexes, which is, that's good to see. So Microsoft pretty much followed the indexes. Now, Netflee, they're at 16.97. My estimate is 54.45%. I always make the mistake of putting my estimates too low for Netflee. So this month I'm changing and putting them a bit higher than I actually would. I'd actually put them at 40%. But uh, yeah, that hasn't really been working out. So we're, we're going with 54% or 77 cent payment. This one's really nice because they they, uh, they had their earnings, but we're outperforming them by 3%. Still down 6%, but not as bad as uh, actual Netflix stock. So they did a good job uh, of selling the calls for this month. Now we got NVIDIA. They're at 25.84. My estimate is 81% or $1.76. So it is down from previous months, but they didn't really have that good of a month. So I'm putting them a bit lower. Also, their volatility has been going down a little bit. And the fund has been growing, you know, very fast for this one. A lot of people are getting into this one. So there may be a little bit dividend dilution. I'm not sure. But they are down 4% this month. And NVIDIA is slightly underperforming just by a little bit. $1.76 is still a really good payment, and it's the highest estimate I have so far. This one, you know, with all the big earnings this week, basically every single big company said they're continuing to buy massive amounts, like billions and billions of dollars of chips from NVIDIA. So I'm not worried about this one at all. I think uh might even buy some more of NVIDIA. They're doing really good. Next up, another chip maker, AMDY. They're at seventeen thirty six. They have been in a steady decline for a while now, down thirteen percent this month. However, AMDY is outperforming a little bit by one percent. Look at that chart, though. I think 
I think they're getting ready for a nice, nice good rebound there. My estimate is 65% or 95 cents, and I have been noticing they have been collecting more premium usually than NVIDIA has. So that that's def definitely something to, to keep an eye out for. You know, both those chip makers are going to continue to do well. AMD just needs to step up and uh, get their AI chips ready and you know prepared so they can they can serve billions and billions of dollars worth of those next up is zomo oil just keeps going up i think it's starting to stabilize though they're at 1816 my estimate is 29 percent. they definitely did cash out some synthetics this month that i've been tracking so it their estimate's going to be a little bit higher 29 percent, 44 cents they are down one percent this month and the the bad thing is Zomo is underperforming by 2% as ExxonMobil is actually up 1% since April 1st. So I don't know how that happened. Usually when they sell these, they can't really sell the calls that far out. So that's kind of what happens there. When Zomo or when ExxonMobil makes a big gain, Zomo basically gets capped out like pretty much right away. Next up is JPMO. Another, you know, low volatility one here. We got $20.04 for JPMO. They had a really good earnings play. They they put the calls really close, so they collected a lot of premium there. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. That was when they really started outperforming. But then uh, JP Morgan just recovered heavily, and we got capped right there. So that kind of sucked there. Estimate is 25% or $0.42. Cents. And yeah, they're down 5% this month. And JPMO, because of that, we are underperforming by 3%. Next up, we have AIYY. They're at $12.28. And my estimate for them is going to be 51% or a 53 cent payment. Um, yeah, we're down 11% this month. This one, I don't know, just keeps going down and down. But you can see a lot of these stocks are starting to get that chart where it looks like we might be due for a big, big uh, up, up trend there. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it's not a dead cat bounce there. But AIYY is outperforming by 3% there. Next up is OARC. They're getting pretty low here too. We're at 1166 my dividend estimate is going to be 43% or $0.42 cents per share. They are, they are down too. Pretty much all of these are down. They are down 9% this month. And OARC is outperforming by 2%. So that's good to see. ARC going down 11% this month. Usually ARC or OARC usually pays around 40%. So... It, my estimate could be even just a little bit too high, but usually they are around 40%. Now we got the biggest fun here that Yield Max has, Tesla. So they're at 15.05. They popped right off after their earnings. Uh, my estimate, you know, usually they, they always pay 52 to 55%. So it's not even that hard to estimate this one. So we're going with $0.66 cents per share or 52% yield. Again, there's four more trading days till we get declared. So this definitely could change. I'll just keep an eye on the share price. It'll probably be, you know, 52% of the share price divided by 12. Tesla is down 2% this month and we were outperforming Tesla by 2%. That is, that is awesome right there. Yeah, so they, I, I, I got to take a look at their earnings, but they they were in the 140s, I think, Tesla, and now they're back up into the 170s. We definitely want them getting back into the 200s and then high 200s again, but I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, this starts a new uptrend for, for Tesla. Mernie has actually been doing pretty good. They're at 2065 they're one of the few yield max ETFs that's actually up this month. We are up 3% and Mernie is outperforming by 0.5%. So that is beautiful right there. 
My estimate for them is going to be 67% or $1.17. Usually they have been collecting about like 1% to 1.5% in premium per week, which is very high. You know, they're volatile for no reason because it's not like they, they have big ups or downs. They, the, the premiums are just always so good on this one. And they also do have their earnings this week. So keep an eye on Moderna's earnings because those calls are pretty close. I'm pretty sure that they're actually in the money right now. I'll have to double check my my spreadsheet. But yeah, this one has been actually doing surprisingly well. I didn't have high hopes for Mernie. But yeah, this ETF is actually performing pretty good. Next up is GUI. You know, Google had really good earnings. As you can see, we got capped right out though. So that sucks. We are also up 7% this month for GUI, but GUI is underperforming by 4%. So it would have been nice if we collected all that upside. We would have been up 11%, but GUI definitely needed this. They haven't had, you know, really good news or a good trend in a long time here. So I think my estimate could be low just because they have been cashing out through synthetics, but I'm going to go with 34% which is still higher than usual for GUI or a 52 cent payment for, for GUI there. They, they had a good, good month. Now we're getting into the fintechs over here. We got SQY. They're at 2266. I always mess up this estimate too, but I'm still going high for my estimate. We got 66% or $1.26. Um, they are down 6% this month. I think their earnings are coming up pretty soon too. It might even be this week. And they're outperforming by 3%. That's a that's a good chunk right there. So usually I, I really mess up the estimate on SQY. I don't know how the fund is still, you know, small relatively to the to the other funds, but if we get that payment, that would be nice. Next up we got PP. Uh they're at nineteen twenty eight. They got their earnings coming up. 48% yield is what I'm thinking, or $0.78 cent, uh, payment. Usually they put the calls pretty close, but they get more premium for that, which is what I've been noticing here. And they are actually up 2% this month, and PP is outperforming by 1%. So this one is starting to look really good too. If PayPal has good earnings, definitely could be an ETF worth, worth looking into. Coney, this one is, this one's popping off. This one keeps exploding in, in uh, people buying into this one. They are 25.37. My estimate's going to be 99.8% or $2.11. That is, I think, the biggest payment I, I'm predicting right now. They are down 2% this month, and Coney is outperforming by 4%. 4%. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, pretty much every week I've been seeing they're, they're collecting a lot of premium for their money. And guys, you got to remember, part of this yield, I'd probably even say, like, how much do treasuries yield now? 4%? 4% is literally just treasuries, so keep that in mind, too. But yeah, Coney is still doing good. You know, all these crypto ones are going to be yielding super high, but yeah. That's a that's a really good payment, and I wouldn't even be surprised if it's even higher too. Now we got Misty. They're at thirty two twenty nine, the highest priced yield max ETF out there right now. Um, they did not have a good month though. They they are down fifteen percent, and Misty is outperforming by seven percent just because they're collecting so much premium. It it's buffering the downside quite a bit. So that means Mr. was down 22%. My estimate's going to be 115% or $3.11. We also got to keep in mind, you know, last month's dividend payment was $4.11, but the share price was also higher and they also had more time to collect premium. So that's why it's going to be a little bit lower this month, but that is still a massive dividend payment um yeah like i said all these crypto ones are just gonna be crazy high i 
I, I, I think Ybit might even be as high as Misty's. And then to end it off, we got Alti. This one, very, very early prediction. I, I might even make a separate video on this one, but I'm predicting 110% flat or $1.39 per share. They are also down 9% this month. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like. Let's get to 250 on this one. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.